Do I have the chicken yet, you ask? Jamrock. Um, I use a chicken every time it says um, disable electronics, if that's what you're talking about. I just have a chicken. I don't have a tool with an actual chicken on it, if that's what you're asking, though. Okay, I just don't have enough room for my organized stuff. Too many light bulbs. You know what? I'm just, I'm so tired of making extra ones of these because they take so much metal. I'm just going to throw stuff on the ground. If I ever need extra junk, it's over here on the ground. There. This, this, these crappy containers that can't hold nearly all enough stuff can just eat it. Um, batteries. I don't, like, I don't need this many light bulbs. I think it's one light bulb for most things you can make. So, light bulbs get on the ground. I threw it on the ground! Alright, so, um, alkali. We need a lot of alkali. There was the general chicken to unlock the military base, yes. Okay. I'm glad to hear that you going to the doctor was at least not that bad. You didn't have any extra money or effort spent. That's nice. One reason I hate insurance so much is because right out of college, I I think I've told this story before, I broke my arm. And I think it wasn't even a break. I think it was just a, a sprain that was extremely painful that I thought was broken. But I went to the emergency room because I thought it was broken. And I ended up being in debt for about five years because of like a $5,000 bill from just... Some painkillers and a and a and a um and a, a sling they put it in, but they did X-rays. So the way U.S. healthcare is is so ridiculous. Okay, well maybe I don't have to go all the way back because holy crap, we're just getting some stuff right here, which is great. I might not need to go all the way back. Electronics, I definitely want. So, but I'm not going to get into discussion about that because <laughs> no reason to get all pissed off at stuff like that right now. Your left hand only has two fingers free. Pinky's in the cast with two more fingers next to it. Okay, let me see. Where is... Really, is there only that one alkali? One alkali is nice. I'd like more than one, though. That is enough. But if this saves me having to make a trip all the way back, I guess that'll be all I'll take for now. I guess that's all I'm going to take for now. Apparently docking your ship. That seems like a bug. It changes the color of it. So I'm not going to be able to keep my the color of my space car, I assume, um, consistent either. If it's going to change it back to white every time I dock it. So that's going to be annoying. No one's life is ruined with that when they already have vulnerable and pain with your healthcare. That's good to hear. Okay, um, let's see. So I need, uh, so I got the alkali. I think that's the last thing I need. I think I got enough metal that we're good. I think we can make our first space car. So I need to not dock this guy. I'm pretty sure um, I need that to be clear for us to make the car. Okay. Use up basically all of my metal that I got earlier because I think it's a bunch of refined metal I need. Subscribing to the channel. Hey, Kit 10 Meat, thank you so much for the Prime. 12 months, my friend. You're an all star lurker. Thank you so much for the continued randomness. You are a super awesome supporter. I love it. So two alkali, two... No, actually, I only need one alkali. Was it aluminum or titanium? I think it was titanium, actually. Titanium. And then the two refined metal. Okay. 
You cooked some pork chops and made salad with feta cheese. Overall, a bit salty. You did that with an arm and a sling? Or a cast or whatever it is? Man, I don't even do that when I have both working arms. <laughs> Love the pile of suitcases. This is my storage. It's either that or it's this. <laughs> I have a feeling my game will lag like crazy if I just store everything. You know, like that. Um, I feel like there's something else I'm missing. Oh, the plasma. Okay. Two plasma, and we have our car. Our first car, my friends. And if I didn't just eat my granola bar, I'd do another GG cookie time. But. One, two. Build a car, man. Car in space. Who ordered a space car? I did. The Zaz One vehicle. Oh boy, look at that! And it looks like an old timey car. <laughs> oh, it's got a it's got a little grabber tool. Okay, man. Let's take this thing for a spin. Can I breathe in here? I can breathe in the car. I don't know why it starts with 79 fuel. What a random amount to have. But we did it. Um, uh, You must have told this story on stream before. Oh, you about to tell a story, Plunder Pig? Okay, this is... Wow. Okay, that's an interesting way of stuff moving around there. My visibility is worse, but you know what? It's worth it. I want to go explore the mayonnaise area first. Okay, but you broke your son's toe and had to rush him to the ER. Didn't cost you that much, to be honest. The insurance paid for most of it, and you have an employer paid HSA. Cool. Uh, it's also slightly damaged. I think that might be the tool. No, it is slightly damaged. Because, I guess, tra -la -la. Right, where's the mayonnaise thing? It's over here. There's no actual, actual out-of-pocket. Well, yeah, because you had insurance, but I didn't write out of college, and that was the... Moral of my story is the, the scam that is insurance. Okay. Um, let's see what we can find over here. This has unlocked us, man. This 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 interface is weird. The way my arms move around is really weird. Mayonnaise in space here. and hope that when flying away the tank will have collected at least some part of the flowing spilled mayo. Solids detected. Solids detected. Can I go in this? This is strange. Okay, yes. Nothing of interest. An air right. seems to be attacked. Okay, so I am Flowing through mayo, and now I can breathe. Okay. That something is wrong with this mayonnaise. Apart from the inconsistency of its composition, overly complex technologies are used to transport such biological debris. Although all the tanks are specified as mayonnaise once in all the invoices related to the liner. Okay, so it's not real mayonnaise or something. Does game volume seem low? Seems fine to some. Okay. I have lurching with the wow, thousand bits. Holy crap, thank you. Happy Friday. It is Happy Friday. Best day of the week, man. The day before Saturday. The day before the weekend starts. I'm not even sure if Rocket Vacuum Cleaner will be useful for us, but maybe. I don't know if that's different than the one I've been riding on this whole time. Maybe this is how you unlock it if you don't just find the one floating around. Whoa, that's crazy looking. All right, so it's not mayonnaise; it's more like flubber. Plan of the transport 
white flubber. Um, scan. Medium transport module. So I have small, medium, and large. Nice. Now, if only I could find the one that gives us, you know, breach chance protection. That would be great. Wow, this is crazy. Okay. You have headphones too. Ran sounds fine. The Game Boy still were pretty light in the background. That's on purpose. Because he is annoying the crap out of me. But I will turn it up just a touch. I keep it pretty low because I... In my mind, I often want the um, game to be uh, not super loud. And there, I turned it up a little bit. Hopefully that will be better. I have now Goldilocks, ironically. Huh? I don't get it. All right, well, let's see what happens going into this weird mutant mayonnaise room. Pretty cool looking. Gotta say that. Tank was an integral part of the systems of the lighter unnamed. We have to start the centrifuge, even just out of scientific interest. All right, let's see what happens. Use it. Engine damage detected. Launch canceled. Check the tank engines. Repair engine. Okay. Hopefully my repair tool is in decent shape. Durability six. Let's hope it's enough. I found the small, medium, and large one. I can now find one that is perfect, just like Goldilocks. Oh, okay. Okay. That was not a reference I was going to get until you explained it. To Comrade Zobov, the commander's order, stop the inner unnamed at point 15 and wait for further instructions. Okay, so a ransom note. Cool. More resin and rubber. Sure. Isn't Goldilocks? This one's too hard. This one's too soft. This one's just right. I feel like large, medium. I'm not sure I... Uh, Quite agree that that reference is good. <laughs> I I criticize your reference for not being apt enough. Explain jokes always make them better. I mean, yeah, but large, medium, and small does not seem to work for the Goldilocks comparison, honestly. You are chastised. Good. Good. I've done my job. I've yelled at chat and chastised you. Made fun of your jokes. My work here is complete. Stream over. All right, how do I how do I fix these engines? Looks like there's over here. Uh, do I go inside here to fix it? Maneuver engine required. Scan. How do I scan? I have to scan them. Maneuver engine require. Okay, so I have to scan all the engines, I guess, is what I'm doing here. Two of six. Okay. Three of six. I hope we won't need that. Small modern engines can do without burning fuel, which is much safer. Igniter? Blood for the Blood God. Does that mayo give you oxygen? I don't think so. I think it was once I was through the mayo that I was getting oxygen. When I was inside. Well, I'll tell you, I'm not a fan of mayonnaise in real life either, so. Uh. God. Soil analyzer. Nothing of interest. Yeah, I'm not getting auction in the mayo here. Okay. Okay, so I scan two more engines. I scan the top. I don't think I scan this bottom one here. Okay, so I need to find one more engine. Scan both of those, right? Oh, this is a big ship. Is there an engine like on the back of this somewhere, maybe? Inside the mayo, possibly? Uh, 
is this an engine? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Trying to find one more engine in here somewhere. What's inside of here? Probably stuff I'm more over stuff I'm overflowing with still, most likely. Okay, and I don't think this is an engine we can scan. That's uh, separate. Let's go grab this auction while we're over here. And since there's free food, we might as well drink and eat. Ah. I will say that I feel like this game might suffer a little bit from what original Subnautica suffered from in that if you want to do whoops, a lot of base building, it's rather tedious to gather as many resources as it needs to do a lot of base building. Okay, another big giant thing of mayonnaise. Nothing of interest. Okay. I'm like, if I want to do more base building, I'm going to just have to grab a lot of metal. Although, maybe maybe this doesn't take as much as I think it does. I'm going to grab metal while I'm in a place that's got some. If I want to do some base building, I will have the materials to do it, hopefully. Although I think a lot of the base parts might be less um, resource intensive than a lot of the uh, Subnautica ones might be. Electronics I definitely want. Okay. Brackets mounting the tank for the module. You'd better find them all and detach them before you start, or at best, all this debris will spin and be torn apart with the tank right here. Yeah, I sure wish I uh, had that repair tool I already had out ready. Okay. Alright, so I have to detach brackets. I have one more engine I gotta scan somewhere. I scanned two, four, five. Where's the last? Is this it? It's floating in space here? I think it might be this, isn't it? Alright, we scanned all the engines. Blueprint maneuver engine. Oh. Okay. Could extract resin there if I wanted to. More metal, sure. This is gonna probably break my. Okay. At least it perfectly broke it at the perfectly perfect time. All right, so I need to find more brackets. Let's get in our car for looking around here. Oh, coffin. Get a key. Okay, let's get in our car to search for these bracket things. So I don't have to worry about running out of O2 as we fly around here. So what did this bracket look like? Orange thing attached to the big metal... Yeah metal silver black thing okay uh, looks like there's two over here my repair tool have enough durability five hopefully that's brackets enough. mounting the tank for the module you better find them all and detach them before you start or at best all this debris will spin and be torn apart with the tank right here there's two you can try to repair the bracket but since you will destroy it during the repair process it will be easier to break it beforehand Okay, this one's already broken off, it looks like. This car making happy Lada noises. Lada? <laughs> okay. Alright, where are these brackets? 
I will say visibility, I guess that's the trade-off of being able to breathe is visibility is not nearly as good inside this thing. Wikipedia for Lada is a Russian car. Ah, oh, okay, it's a the type of it's a car manufacturer, I guess. Like Honda or something. Look at the bottom, maybe. I wonder if that's what they use for the sound design is that car type or something. Alright, I just, I can't see in this thing. I can't see the brackets, so... They gotta be attached to this. Okay, so I think there might be one inside here. Solid detected. Yeah, I bet you there's one right here. It seems that detaching the bracket without getting your hands as well as other parts of your body dirty will be a possible. Okay. What about the other side? One over here, maybe? That one looks released already. Okay. Flying through the mayonnaise. Or whatever this is. Can I get out here? Oh my gosh, this is huge giggity, that's what she said. Oof, okay. Where am I? That was kind of freaky being inside there. That's like Subnautica vibe there. What is this? Break. Grenade or blaster? Okay, I have a blaster. Wow, I gotta use it this much? Okay. Okay. Ah, okay, so that did it. Alright, so I think... That might be ready to go then? You lose auction slower in the mayo, do you? Okay. I need to go back inside of this, I think. Now. Uh, how did I get inside of here earlier? Uh, was it back down through here, I believe? Nothing of interest. You're highlighting something. Oh, there's ice in here. Okay. Oh, you might be right. Maybe my oxygen was going down slower. Uh, is that outside or is that in here? That looks like that might actually be outside. Let me go back down in here again, though, just to check since I've detached things if I can do this yet. What's here? Okay. Do I have to rebuild the engine? I don't know. It's it's given me something up here. I think that is back outside still. Is the same rate of auction loss? Okay. All right, back out through the mayonnaise. This is a weird one here. <laughs> In and out of the mayonnaise. I mean the flubber. The white flubber. Okay. So what do we do here now? Replace broken engine. Maneuver engine required. What maneuver engine? Is this an item I have to build? Let me go get in my car and see if... Build tool, maybe?
Um... I feel like a maneuver engine. I scanned all those engine parts. I almost wonder if that's a thing I need to build. Items. Maneuver engine. Yeah. I need to build a maneuver engine. Okay, so I gotta go back to a... I gotta go make that. I gotta go make this thing. Looks like. I <laughs> like how it's a side entry. Like a, like a car, like a real car. Yeah, standard engineering table, and I probably don't have the resources to build that here, so. Let's go back, build this thing. Then I'm probably gonna explore where the big gun was again, because I need to get all these little, the turret pieces. That's probably what those electric symbols mean. It's where I destroyed a turret and didn't take out the little piece of it. Maybe I can go grab those on the way back. Yeah, the little, uh, whatever the thing that is, that's inside of it is called. Let's see if we can grab that. Without running into some robots over here. Yeah, looks like it. Discharge cell is what it's called. Okay. Isn't there another one over here somewhere? Go grab this one. Yeah, I got some alkali earlier. Not very much. One container's worth of alkali. But it should be enough, I think. There we go. Nice. I think we needed four of these, so I probably only need like one more, and we might be good for that. Oh, was it eight? Was it not four? Okay. Well, there are other turrets over by where we need to place them anyway, so if I can just destroy those and get them from there, that'll probably work. Two. How's my car moving? You're guessing the tires don't have much use in space. <laughs> it's a space car. It uses space engines. Well, we'll take a look at the car, and we'll, we'll, we'll discover that. Uh, park. It's got... Engines and so it's it's very much uh, What is that? Um, Jetsons type car, you know, whoops. That's not where I want to go Thank you. Th you think Elon sent his car to space for fun? <laughs> this is Elon Musk's car. Elon Musk's car. There you go All right, so it was under items. I think Maneuver engine igniter I wonder if I need both of these. I think it only said a maneuver engine. Sucks that they clear your beacon color when you dock. Yeah, that's, I wish they would. That seems like a bug to me, actually. All right, so compensator and a generator. One of each. Compensator and a generator. Just need alkali for one. Okay, and there's the generator. And then... I need, oh, I need another alkali. So two refined metal, titanium, and an alkali. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what was it? What was the other piece? And a titanium. Here. Right there. Throw this resin in here that I don't need. Um, so it's too refined metal. I haven't tried it since I got built the car, so I can like uh, change the. Well, I think all vehicles were the same, right? Like I think all vehicles. If I change beacon of vehicle. Purple, that's now purple. 
The car didn't show up. I wonder if it'll be purple now that I've done that. I don't know. Compensator. Okay. I don't think I need this rubber, but let's turn it into thick electrical tape because I don't have room for it. One, two, three, four. Let's just throw these in here because I think there are a few things I do need rubber for. I did not mean to drop you. I meant to put you inside of here. One, two, three. Okay, we'll turn that into tape. And light bulbs on the ground, please. This is my trash corner. Don't look in it, it's hideous. I'm going to use one of those. This and this. Okay. And item. Now I need two plastic and a titanium. We got that for sure. Titanium. Two plastic. I can still use more metal if I find more metal. Theory, it can be strapped to your back and you could fly much faster, but in practice, it's better not to do that. I wish I could do that. Okay, so hopefully that was all I needed for that piece over there. Um, so I have three of these discharge cells. You said I needed eight. Did I have more than what I have currently? Let me check if I have any more of these, because that might be the thing I go do next, if that's the case. I want to have all the ones I've collected on me already. There. Okay. Do I need another tool? I don't have a scrapper. I better get another scrapper while I'm here. My repair tool is already is almost broken. So are my shears. But I don't want to have two of every single tool in the game. So let me just make a scrapper. Do I have enough metal? One, two, three, four. I do. And one titanium. Scrapper is kind of one of the most important uh, things to have, I think. Like the first first tool you get is a scrapper, if I remember correctly. Do that and scrapper there. Okay, how many shots do I have? Twenty nine. Okay, that should be plenty. It only takes one shot per turret. All right, let me see. I just want to check if my vehicles are now white again. Huh. Oh, the car's got a different thing for it. Okay. Let's make this one blue. It'll probably be cleared again when I dock it, but we'll, we'll be able to test that. All right, where was the mayonnaise thing? I need to replace this engine over here somewhere. Where are those little guys over there? God, there's two of them. I hope it's not two engines. If it's two, I actually think I won't have enough alkali and or metal for that. I wonder if there are upgrades you can do for your car, too, eventually. That would be pretty cool. Like, you could upgrade your vehicle in Subnautica and stuff. Okay. Replace. All right. Probably. All right. Cool. Awesome. Tells me to use the console. I don't think I need another engine. That looks good. Uh, I did not go into there. Eagity. Get by all this. Here we go. Through here. Can I get through here? Here, down through there. You like how they put an actual kettlebell in the game? Kettlebells rock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One thing that's mind-bending to me is that there's no up. How are you staying oriented? Is the game doing that for you? It kind of does do that for you, and 
That's another difference between this and like space engineers and some other space games like It can be hard to stay oriented and this game kind of forces you which isn't really true with how space works so again not perfect space physics in the game but uh, it probably is can be really disorienting disorienting for players if they didn't do that I think I got everything in here I think there might have been a little bit of resin but oh a special patch and a bloated spacesuit indicating increased gas production due to excessive broccoli eating igniter out that the body belongs to the green universe radical group if the possible moral constraints are no problem this bag of methane hydrogen and organic residues can be used to provide initial acceleration for I did see an igniter earlier how to do it I wonder Oh, this is a centrifuge. Okay. I wonder if I need to do that or if that's just me setting the guy on fire for funsies. Centrifuge, valve damage. Start the centrifuge. I probably need to use the igniter on that, huh? I think, yeah. I bet you I ignite this guy and it starts it and it starts spinning. That's what it looks like this is. Yeah, so... Remember earlier when I said, I hope I don't need an igniter. <laughs> Wish I had built an igniter. Damn it. It's like, I have this thing unlocked. What do I need this for? Of course, I would need it in this room. Gotta go all the way back to make a frickin' igniter. Well, I guess, thankfully, my base isn't super far away. But yeah, like, there's actually not a way in the game, at least that I know of, to, like, spin. Like, Q and E, you can't, you can't I, I can't, like, turn myself upside down. Or if there is, I don't know what the control is for it. I'm pretty sure you're, you can kind of do, um, like, I can look down, but it stops me. I can't keep going down. So the game basically keeps you oriented where up is always up. Sometimes if you're doing this, it can be disorienting, but it'll always, if you always just center, the game has kind of a... <coughs> Excuse me. An art, it's kind of created an artificial, what would you call that, X-axis or something? Thank you. Uh, bitte schön. Is that what it is in German? Something like that. Danke schön. Thank you. Bitte schön. Danke schön. Whatever it is. I forget. My German's not very good. You're so good looking. <laughs> nice Seinfeld reference. I like it. All right. So I need an igniter. Hopefully I have enough materials for it. If it takes more alkali or refined metal, I might have enough for one of those. That might be it. Did I check this one earlier, I wonder? I checked a lot of this stuff. I don't know if I checked this. I'm going to get close to it to see if it triggers him talking to me about there being something in here. Uh, didn't quite see anything there. You are so good looking. I guess I could not dock it and it probably wouldn't change color, but let's, uh, let's test it. Okay. See if it'll be blue when I get back out. I'm going to guess it's back to white again. Donkashern and Bittazayan, you think, from men. Oh, I thought you could say Donkashern and Bittazayan. Uh, let's see here. What am I making? It's an item, right? Igniter. Two aluminum, two batteries, and an inductor. One metal, one mass, one plastic, one, uh, two wires. Okay. Metal, plastic. Two wires. Donkshurn. Uh, I have a breach, do I? You're right, I do. Good eye. I don't really know what that does, but we should fix it. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Is that a tool? It's a tool. Hopefully there was only one. Uh, 
There's that. Okay, I don't think I see any others. We'll just check upstairs just to make sure. Again, I don't know what happens when you have a breach and don't fix it. But I kind of don't want to find out. I don't want my base to explode or something. Okay, so I made an inductor. Two batteries, two aluminum. I have exactly two batteries. I should have plenty of aluminum. Here we go. Uh, it's used only in backup engines in case of emergency due to the danger of setting fire to something else. Okay. In Soviet Russia, vacuum sucks you. <laughs> nice sarcastic girl. Where'd I find that car at? The junkyard? Hit and run? Police impound? I built it myself, okay? <laughs> Don't knock the car. Don't knock it. Yep. Turned white. So that is a... I would bug report, but I'm too lazy. But I believe that's a bug. That. The uh, uh, beacon changes color once you dock. You go in and out of the dock. Listen to this thing purr. This little kitten. Purrs like a kitten. It's good. It's good car. Very reliable. Like communist regime, yes? <laughs> okay. Oh, we're offending all the Russians today, I guess. All of them. Where's Kenny to be offended right now? Although, from my experience of Kenny, he makes fun of Russians more than anybody else I know, so... Nobody make fun of Russian like true Russian does. Uh, Russians are not offended. Russians don't get offended. <laughs> they offend. Russians don't offend. Get offended. They offend other people. That's that's. I believe how it works. You can't offend a Russian. You can only be heavily offended by them. Judging by the humor in this game, I would say that's probably accurate. Filthy capitalists make joke. Russian have potato. Is that a reference to something? That might be a reference to something. Okay, let's go put this here. Uh, oh, I need to go inside this room over... Where's the door? There it is. Boiled potatoes. That's right. Boiled potatoes. A staple of a good Russian diet. All right. Wow, I'm so surprised they put it in the anus. I I, I totally wouldn't have expected that in this game. <laughs> this it's pretty cool though. Again, who knows what this white flubber mayonnaise stuff actually is? But let's see what happens. I'm supposed to get out of here before this launches, right? Get out. Yes. Something went wrong. On the one hand, this is bad news. On the other hand, you're still up like right now. And it's good. I didn't save, by the way. I can't get out. We need to find another way. Uh. How the hell am I supposed to get out? There's a hole up here. Yep, go up there. Through the tube. If the core is damaged, then the mayo from the central cooling circuit was broken. Okay, there we go. Thank God I didn't just die. <laughs> Very matrix dodging pieces flying by us. Very nice. Your incredible dexterity, together with incredible luck and incredibly linear strength, first wonders. All right, we're launching all these pieces. Increase in the core's activity. If nothing explodes there in the next couple of minutes, then the task can be considered completed. So I think what we are doing is we are launching lots of things at I can't say for sure. the core of the main ship. And that's supposed to lower the radiation, I think, is what's happening. What we have seen is one of the most protected government secrets, and the presence of a green universe radical there confirms their involvement in the catastrophe. Alright. Well that worked. I should probably save after that. Probably should have saved before I did that. Uh what is this? Ice and stuff out here? Yeah, so. Things I should look for are metal and electronics and other stuff. Uh, potatoes are good vegetables. They can be cooked, fried, dehydrated, made into vodka. 
Made into chips. Every other vegetable needs to get its shiat together. They should have told the people that the Chernobyl to just launch crap at the radiation to lower it. <laughs> That's what we've learned from this game. Too much radiation? Explode it. Sounds legit. Well, I will agree. As much as I don't like boiled or don't... I'm not a fan of, like, mashed or boiled potatoes. French fried potatoes are on, honestly one of my favorite foods. If I had to name, like, three favorite foods, I'd probably go with something like... French fries, pizza, and like fried chicken or something. If I if I had to name three, those are probably three of my favorites. Maybe change out burgers or pasta or something there, but French fries definitely makes the list. Love me some good French fried potatoes. Or chips, as you call them in the UK, I guess. Samosas with potatoes. Isn't samosa a drink? Ran the healthiest eater. Oh, no. <laughs> I will never claim that. That's for sure. That is a big, giant piece of thing. Uh, I'm going to go check out this first. The game would have auto-saved when you entered an area anyway, so I would have been safe. Yeah, I think I would have... It, it saves when... It would have saved when I got out of my car or whatever. Who makes the best french fries? Jamrock says five guys... That's a tough one. I've had a lot of really good fries. If I had to choose... I don't even know, man. Like, it depends on what kind of fries you want. If you want the really, like, dense ones... That use, like, vegetable oil, oil or something... Um, there's a chicken place called Chicken Express here in Texas... That has some really good fries. Um, you know, some people say McDonald's fries. I haven't been to McDonald's in so long. I don't even remember if their fries were as good as some other places. Um... I don't know. I feel like I don't even think Five Guys are top of list for me. They're okay, but they're not my favorite. Oh! A infinite Handy Scrapper. Oh my god, infinite. And that's Chuck Norris, by the way. <laughs> Chuck Norris has inspired us in how to make... An infinite scrapper. It's great. The great and terrible. This guy's so tough that it's not he who flies in space. It's space that flies in him. Uh, sorry, guys. I don't think you... That's not... It's not... It's not how Chuck Norris jokes work. Place... It would be something like... Chuck Norris is so badass, he doesn't fly through space. Space flies around him or something. I don't think space flying in him makes any sense. Soviet Russia, joke screws up you. Okay, grabbing some metal while I can. That's Walker, Texas Ranger. Chuck Norris, it's funny, I was playing WoW last night and in uh, Baron's chat, it was all about making more Chuck Norris jokes, man. So topical. So topical. If Ram was told to choose the form of Gozer, it'd probably be a giant French fry. <laughs> yes. Uh, samosa chutney. What is this? Chutney is... Oh. Chutney is like a sauce or something? You're going to chalk that one up to Google Translate. Yeah. Lamb chops, pork belly, and steak for meats. Avocado, apples, and nashi for pears. The fruits, veg are your top three. Okay, nice, nice. Well, it's been a while since we've had a food talk stream, so I feel like it's about time, right? What's next? Welcome back, Cotter jokes. Wow, now there's throwback. Welcome back, Cotter. Can I go inside of here? So complex that it was the first one to fail. However, this doesn't prevent the door from remaining armored. We won't find any other way into the module anyway. Need another door. Examine. Okay. You're telling you're telling me I can't go in that door. Oh, let's fly around in our car for this. I know I need to go down there, but there's lots of turrets. So before that, I want to explore some places that are not going to shoot at me. Uh, the best non-chain fries you've had from a local place called the Duvenant 
That was that has bottomless fries that are amazing. That sounds amazing. I don't think I've ever had bottomless fries before. I assume that means never ending and not they cut the bottoms off of them. Like you cut the crusts off the sandwich. I had a friend uh, in high school who wanted the crunchiest overcooked black charred pieces of the fries that nobody else wanted. Those were his favorite fries in the batch. Like, yeah, the ones that are all burnt, he's like, those are my favorite. I guess because they were crunchy or something. Can I get in here anywhere? Let's see. You just made home Caesar dressing for his chicken Caesar lunch. It was amazing. Nice. If I like salad, I'd be more excited about that, but I don't. <laughs> the best takeout is Chinese fight me. I haven't had take Chinese takeout in a while. I feel like the Chinese takeout in Dallas is not that good, honestly. Can I get in here? Or maybe I just haven't found the right Chinese takeout place. Hmm. He loves burnt food. Say hi to cancer. Really? Does burnt food give you cancer? I think that guy actually randomly friended, uh, found me on Facebook and added me as a friend recently. Like, oh yeah, I remember you from high school. He was a drummer in my high school band. I think his name was Ethan or something. Uh, let me see. Chinese takeout seems so expensive to you nowadays. Maybe you just got too cheap. Honestly, I'm I eat out way too much and it is expensive. It really is, but if it saves me the time of having to make dinner, it's worth it to me. I see a giant ball of mayonnaise. I should see if there's something inside of here. I think you could st scan this it'll so highlight stuff in there. Like standard space food. Even the liner's kitchen didn't have such equipment. Oh, what's this? Something I can't get inside of. Okay. How do I get in here? In this way? Okay. I see a green light. Does that mean you'll open? You will not open. How the hell? Here we go. I am really thirsty. Let me drink some water. I'll also clear up some space here. All right, kitchen. Here we go. We have learned the kitchen. Um, I don't know what that will allow us to make more food. I don't know. I have plenty of wire. I mean, we're already making food. At another thing. Maybe this is just for visual. Box with food. Art of eating. <laughs> the art of eating. I got plenty of plastic. So I'm not going to take any of that stuff. How did I get in here like this? Wow, this thing is huge. Burnt ends are your favorite. That's where all the food, is, uh, all the flavor is. Um, I know that some people agree with you when it comes to like barbecue. My friend, when he makes barbecue, like maybe maybe the flavor is too intense for me. But honestly, it's just so the burnt ends are so charred and stuff that it's not always for me. got to be a way in here somewhere. Oh, I'm getting hot here. Okay. I don't have my I have my electrical suit, not my heat suit on. Uh, can I get in from like underneath or from on top maybe somewhere? There's some metal out here if I want to grab more metal. I think my inventory's getting pretty full, honestly. Looking for some big opening here. Uh, maybe there's not a way into this thing, or if there is, I'm not seeing it. Did the chicken die? No, the chicken's still with us. The chicken will never die. Every time we sleep, which I haven't slept in a while, we sleep with the, sleep with the chicken in our arms. Is there a way in up here, maybe somewhere? 
Tonight, your wife and you and some neighbors are going to a Thai noodle bar that's out of this world. Interesting. I don't think I've ever had Thai noodles. I have had real pho. A place called pho something. And it's okay. I, I Maybe I just don't like noodle type dishes that much. Or at least the Asian noodle type dishes. But pretty good. Alright, so there's lots of turrets down here. So we're going to want to go get eight. Uh, I don't have enough space for these discharge cells. Damn it. Okay, I better go home first. Let's go home, drop off some crap. Because I just don't have enough room in my inventory to get all the turret um, whatever thing, whatever those things are called. Discharge cells? Discharge cells for the next thing we need to do. Can my car survive the heat? I have a feeling it does, but me not wearing my suit will probably overheat because that's how it worked with the um, vacuum cleaner we rode. I was just taking damage while riding it, so I would guess that the vehicles are fine. Tomorrow you plan on breaking out your brand new pizza oven. You got some apple wood pellets and everything. Oh, wow. You're doing like a, a wood-fired pizza stove? That's cool. That's super cool, man. You do like you some ramen, too, but you always get disappointed in ordering it in the UK after having the real stuff. All right, we did get a bunch of extra metal, so let me throw that in here. Plastic and metal. All right, nice. That's much better on the metal amounts there. These guys there, this, this, and this. Aluminum. I got way more auction things than I need, but I don't have room for more, so... Throw it on the ground. I'm even putting useful stuff on the ground now. Uh, let me actually eat some food, though. This. This. We have so much food. Um, let's take water and throw this in there. Okay. All right, we should have enough space to go do that. Um, do I want a second blaster when I go down there or anything else? Repair tool's pretty low. Hopefully I don't need to... That. I'll probably have to come back and make another repair tool on the slate. But we have enough space to get all the uh, discharge things. You got you an Unicoda 12. Totally not sponsored. You are just sold by all the YouTube ma marketing. <laughs> it totally had nothing to do with advertisement. But all that advertising, uh, all those commercials I watched sure did it convince me to get one. Tomorrow you install your RTX 3070. Wow. <laughs> I hate to ask, but do you want to admit how much it cost you? Because I looked at video cards recently. And my God, is it ridiculous. I was thinking, maybe I can find a cheap one to help my streaming. One thing, uh, turns out adding an extra video card to your streaming setup is actually an uh, anti-productive, counterproductive, that's the word. Um, but for another thing, um, holy crap, don't try to buy a, Be careful. a card on freaking Amazon right now. Alright, so how many do I need? I need five more. There's, there's one. Uh, you actually won a new egg shuffle, so the markup was only forty dollars. MSRP was six ninety. You paid seven thirty. Wow, that still sounds really expensive to me. Like I don't think I spent more than three hundred on any single part when I built my computer, but I probably didn't get something that that was that high end. I'm guessing. That sounds higher end than any of the pieces on my P PC that I built, I'm thinking. Oh, there's a turret right there. But honestly, that does sound a good price depend uh, d uh, compared to what I uh, was seeing on Amazon. So that's funny that you won a raffle to only play, only pay over retail by 40 bucks. If that doesn't show you how effed up graphics card prices are, I don't know what will. 
I won a raffle to only slightly overpay. Congratulations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need one more. I wonder if I have to charge these things. Um, it is overpriced, but for prices these days, that's cheap. Yeah, yeah. It's one of the factory overclock cards, so it has a higher markup. They sell for thousand to thirteen hundred from scalpers. <laughs> I want a raffle to get effed just a little bit. Just a little effed, but not royally effed in the A. <laughs> so I, I feel great. <laughs> uh, only slightly uncomfortable. But it's, re it's way better than the alternative, though. Uh, scalpers and bit miners are ruining the market. Yeah, they definitely are. I don't, I, and I still don't understand Bitcoin. Nobody has to try to explain it to me. Because somebody's tried before and still, still clueless, but I still don't understand how how those things have value. So, just, I guess you can buy stuff with them though. Nice. So I think this will be one extra, but maybe I'll need more of these later. Well, let's go ahead and get that. So now I should be able to go over into there. Uh, where's my car? Because it's dude. Where's my car? The Russian edition. All right, let me actually change the color again. There. Who charges the discharge sales? It's a hustle. There, I've explained it. Okay. Bitcoin equals magic. That's it. Okay. Or right. uh, it's a hustle you're talking about. Bitcoin. Okay, gotcha. All right. Need to change the color for the car GPS. I... I <laughs> I keep changing it, and it keeps changing back every time I dock the thing, so. All right, how did I get in here? What, did I really need eight? I feel like I might not have needed all eight of these, but let's find out. We'll have some extras. Got one. Only five, okay, well, we'll have three extras. That one's active. Second discharge cell installed. I hope it doesn't start firing right away once you've fixed it. Yeah, me too. Only one left. Okay. And we're done. I might be wrong, but it's night errant preparing to shoot. Okay. So we're gonna shoot at that thing now, I guess is what's happening. Starting to understand why you repaired this weapon. I'd like to warn you that shooting from it is pure madness, therefore I strongly recommend not to come near Night Aaron's manual control panel. Take the joystick in your hand, direct the weapon in the debris, and press the fire button. Alright, I will totally, totally not totally do that. BFG hype. Yeah, let's save it this time. It's it's story, so I'm sure whatever happens is fine, but might as well save. MSRP is complex at the moment. Most of the pre-TI cars at MSRP set pre-pandemic with factories all at capacity. The part makers need to pay more for re factory time. Material costs are up too, so naturally the end of costs consumers higher. Oh, I understand why. Still think it's stupid, <laughs> but I understand. I've worked retail enough to understand why the prices are so overpriced. It's demand is high and supply is low, so it's going to be higher. It's still just a ridiculous situation. Yes, I had exactly the same idea. Night errant must break through the airlock's armor, damaging the latching mechanism. Try aiming and shooting. Oh, so as not to damage this is how to open that door I was trying to get through. All right, let's hope we don't miss. Fire. <laughs> Whoa, did I just cut that thing in half? I'm not sure this is a good time to comment, but the shots didn't go well. Although you did damage the armor for sure, together with half the equipment. That's freaking cool looking. Careful. That is honestly super cool. Is that going to hit? I wonder what the range is on this thing. Infinite. Beautiful. Can I get any more of these little um things now? Looks like I can't get them anymore, so I'm guessing these that I have are useless for us now. Let me kill the last couple of turrets that are around. We should create Randcoin. People mine Randcoin by winning FTL hard, no pause runs. <laughs> oh, these things are electronics. I want you. Give me your electronics. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Got it. And got it. Right in the path of the gun. 
get blasted though. Okay. Oh, and I do have an infinite thing to make now. An infinite blast or an infinite scrap or whatever. Seagull. I heard about big ships being infested not only by hamsters, but even by seagulls, though I did not think it was true. Seems like this one was eating garbage. Okay. Seagulls in space, you know? If chickens are in space, why not seagulls? Let's see what's in the garbage ball. Titanium, metal, electronics, absolutely good stuff. They just never updated the MSRP to meet working conditions. Well, I mean, I can tell you, again, as somebody who's worked in retail for years, retail price is always a markup. It doesn't matter what industry it is. They always set it higher so that um, stores like Music and Arts that I worked at can set it lower and say it's a discount. That's that's just retail. That's, at least in the U.S., that's, that's how it works. You say it's this is MSRP of a thousand dollars. We only sell it for eight hundred. It's under re, it's under uh, market price, so it's it's a discount. And that's just standard practices. So MSRP is always overpriced. It's always marked up. Okay, that's another electronic thing I can get, right? Oh, come on! Come on! Ugh. What a fun mini game this is. Cash the electronics before I run out of O2. Oh, got it. Okay. Uh, 360 no scope that turret. You can also like Rand coin for much needed salt. Oh, lick it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now let's go visit that thing. I have no inventory space. So if I go inside of this. I wish I had storage in this car. Let's go look at what's going on over here, because I might have to make something to get into this anyway. Wow, this is freaking cool looking, by the way. Okay, well, let's take a gander around here. Can we get inside now with this? This is really, really stunning visually, man. This game, as much as I, you know, harp on it for the uh, annoying voiceover and sophomoric comedy, this is a gorgeous game. It really is. Right, there's got to be a way in here somewhere. Aha! Here it is. Okay. Such damage, we won't be able to control the core remotely, but we can use the core protection protocol and open additional cooling valves in the liner. For that, find the central panel and try to guess the nine-digit password. Try to guess the nine-digit password. All right. Who was asking? There's my chicken. Chicken on a stick. Still got it. You know, that's not actually a tool. You just always have that. So you don't ever have to build a chicken on a stick. On a stick, you just always happen to have it. Stick with fine metal. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to go back to base. Before I explore this, I think I want to go back to base. Just because I want to... You always find so much stuff in these places, so... We're full. Let's go back to base before we explore this. Hopefully I'll remember this entrance. Let me get a visual on where this is. It is just above the airlock right there. Okay, cool. Clear out inventory, build an infinite scrapper, and I can probably get rid of all of my other scrappers that I've ever had. Password 1234567 Admin 123. Password? <laughs> Is this like exploring those crash sites in Subnautica? Um I'm gonna guess it's not it's gonna be not like that. Because I have I usually have O2 when I'm in here. When you uh do the crash sites in Subnautica, you're always constantly worried about running out of O2. That's one thing I will say that this game has over Subnautica. Less after you get the car and a lot of the exploration places, when you get inside of them, at least you're not out of O2 inside of the places. All right, we're going to not dock so that my car beacon stays blue. Can you put stuff in a suitcase, then put that suitcase in your inventory? No. No, but I'll, sh I'll show you. It, it gives you a prompt when you try to do that. So, like, if I go... There's the autosave. If I go 
over to these suitcases, try to pick it up. Take. You can't take a container with items in it. What? Yeah, that's that's what happens if you try to do that. Cannot believe it. Won't let me exploit that way. Okay, lots of extra electronics. Can I throw those anywhere? <laughs> throw the tape in here. Throw the light bulbs in the corner with all the other crap. Uh, is there any other crap in here I can just throw in the corner? Extra shears. Crappy auction candle. I'm gonna I'm gonna just trash a bunch of stuff in the corner over here. I don't need this many light bulbs. I feel when you just have some more stuff than you have storage for. And I don't want to use my metal just on making another one of these things. But I'm probably going to. How much metal do I have? Alright, making one more suitcase. One, two, three, four. Because I just, I have to. Yes. The password is guest. Okay. Uh, objects, another suitcase. One day I'll find a module that lets me store stuff. One day. But it is not this day. All right. I just stack them on top of each other. There we go. All right. Second one of these guys. Um, I'm going to throw this auction candle here. Drop, and I'm pretty sure these are now worthless. Okay. Can I fit anything in here? Roll of fabric, sure. Construction kit. Scale I'll throw these guys in here. Okay, I have so many tools. Do I have double grabbers? I have double grab grabbers. What does an infinite scrapper tool take? The infinite handy scrapper. Durability 999. Takes lycoplasm. All right. This game does have a ton of content, not gonna lie, you're not even 50% done, you think it feels like ages. Yeah, surprisingly, yes. Especially after Subnautica. I thought, um... That this game would be short. But I guess Subnautica... Kind of... Either me being better at the game, so getting through it quicker, or... Um... Just experience with it. Four wire, four titanium. Um, has definitely made this playthrough a lot. I feel like it's got a lot of content for sure. Oh, it's plastic, not metal. Whoops. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Aha! The infinite handy scrapper. This is the only handy scrapper in the world that can break other handy scrappers. Pretty funny, actually. All right. Okay. So, if I drop this guy on the ground. And I just dropped the infinite one. Whoops. Drop the enhan enhanced. Drop that guy. All right. The infinite handy scrapper. Look at how big it is. That's what she said, giggity. And it's got a picture of Chuck Norris on it. Of course it does. <laughs> of course it does. All right, the only thing I haven't actually learned is the rocket vacuum cleaner. Um, I feel like I'm not going to research this because I think that's the thing I've been riding around. And I believe I can already build it anyway, so. Sub-Zero was always a small game, though. It started a deal as a DLC. Oh, maybe so. You might be right. Okay, eat this. Drink this. Let's go explore this next place. And hope we have enough inventory space. Uh, I got to plug a thing. A uh, leak in the airlock is probably the worst place a leak could be. Let's check if there's any up here, too. Looks good. So a bunch of crap on the ground over there, too. Uh, resin. Where is resin? There it is. Resin into gum. Rand have car. Why need rocket vacuum cleaner? What I'm curious about is actually if that's a different rocket vacuum cleaner, like a faster one than what we have. 
but I have a guess that it's just that stuff for you to research in case you didn't find it. The one for free that we found. I don't quite understand what this grabber tool is on the front. Will I eventually be able to grab stuff with that? That would be pretty awesome. We'll need to get some fuel on this, on this uh, fairly soon. That's really cool, that laser shooting through that. Super cool. Yeah. Below zero, not sub-zero. I was like, sub-zero, are we talking about Mortal Kombat? <laughs> I knew what you meant, though. I knew what you meant. That's why I didn't make a comment about it. Which apparently there was a Mortal Kombat movie. Did anybody see it? I feel like Shogi was talking about going to see the Mortal Kombat movie. I don't know if that was any good. I mean, if it's like other video game movies, it was fun for fans and not anything groundbreaking. That would be my guess. All right, cool. All right, let's go see what's in here. I should have probably brought my temperature suit. I got my electrical suit. Ideal Russian family. Okay. Um, we can drop the resin if we find other stuff, but I'm just going to grab everything. Because these stations are often just like free resources. So start... Stripping it to the bare bones, baby. Okay. So what'd you die from? Too much coffee? I don't see a reason why you're dead. Habitation module? You're just... Lying there for some reason. Scanner. God, I hope I have enough scanner for the thing. That's a seven. So that's probably going to be enough. Medium habitation module. Cool. Does the car have storage space? I haven't found it yet. I haven't. I've just gotten in it and driven it around a couple times. I haven't actually checked for that. I don't think it does. It didn't look like there was anything I could click for storage, but I should definitely check that. All right. The way they clean is they have arms that scoop it up into their mouth. That's funny. Handy scrap required. Oh, what happens if I kill one? Do I get my... T oh, I just kill it. Okay. <laughs> oh, cool. It doesn't use up the durability. I was thinking 999 would mean it would actually... Durability would go down, but it actually doesn't. It actually is infinite, actually. That's nice. Breath Edge Coffin with love. All right. Um, so I got that. Is that all that's in here? Clearly, there's more to this giant mammoth thing than just that. Okay, maybe there's other doors I can go in. Okay, here we go. You see, Ivan, when is space not, it's best to remember glorious Soviet values. <laughs> or is it Ivan? I don't know if they were like originally going for like a horror theme with all the dead bodies, or it's just in Soviet Russia, death is funny. Dying horrible death in painful space crash is best joke ever. There is. Stop calling me Shirley. All right, I'll do my best. Sorry, habit. Force a habit. Did I scan the blueprint back there? The one that was for the medium habitation? Yes, I did. Sometimes the dust collector is still worth cleaning, although this leads to interesting design solutions. Okay. Well, that finishes the thing that I was going to research earlier that I don't need to. Grumpy bear. Nice free refined metal. Haha, <laughs> inventory's already full. Okay, well then, then we'll just eat and drink like crazy. Service module. service module. Here we go. You also notice a significant lack of babe messages. You're right, it's been a while. What did I hear? An American who pronounces my name correctly? Oh, is your name Yvonne? <laughs> I mean, Ivan was what was what an American would say, but I think Yvonne is the correct way to say it. Ivan Ivanovich or something. Sounds like a very Russian name. What's the um? 
Isn't the Colossus from um, X-Men's name Yvonne something? I forget. Oh, that's right. Vancho. Yvonne. I got it. I got it. Okay. Nice. Is this where I came from? This is not where I came from. Cool. Yvonne's a cool name. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm glad I brought my electrical immunity suit. Oh, his name was Peter, you believe. Okay. Oh. That looks like I can get electronics from you. Although, if it's like the cleaner guys, I'm just going to kill you. But you look like you have electronics, so I got to check. Is taking a lot of hits. Good thing I have an infinite scrapper, I guess. Poor guy, all I want to do is repair things and you keep hitting me! I have to repair myself now! Learn to repair yourself, robot. Okay, it just kills it. doesn't actually do anything. Okay. Can I drill you for electronics? No. Uh, nope. Just a scrapper. Hit. Do I actually want to do this? I don't know if I want to do it, but it lets me do it. Oh, and they repair it. <laughs> okay. All right, I don't need extra resin. Uh, all the Yvonne's, you know, change, change to go by John to avoid people constantly not knowing how to pronounce it. Okay. All right, well, we are safe in here. Okay, I'm... I like how I uh, cleared out my inventory and I still just immediately ran out of inventory space. But I don't need resin. I don't need food and water. We are, like, overflowing with both. All three. Whatever. That's pretty cool that they actually repaired that. Okay. I will take titanium, though. Titanium and metal are both pretty useful. Where did I come in here? Was it here? This is where I came from, so let's go this way. Is John the Americanized version of Yvonne? Ivan? The door is being repaired faster than your attempts to break it. We need to get rid of the maintenance team somehow. No, it's not. Oh, crap, mate is. So I do need to actually get rid of these guys. I wonder if I need to kill them with a blaster. It'd probably be faster. Faster blaster. So if I guess if I hit this, we um, we bait them into come over and repair it, and then I hit them. Robot, heal thyself. Actually, I think that guy might be repairing that guy. Um, I don't think he is. Ivan Petroyovich Kalashnikov. Kal Kalashnikov. I think how you say that. My Russian's not very good. The only the only person in real life I've ever known from Russia, apart from Kenny in chat, was a girl I went to school with in junior college whose name was Rosa Tolyoganova. And I always thought it was fun to say her last name when I eventually learned how to say it correctly, which I think I say it correctly now. Who knows? Yvonne, John, Jean, Sean, Sean are variants of one name. Gotcha. Ooh, what is this place? Okay, I think we have an auction here. Enter. Okay, here's the nine code passcode. Okay. Uh, okay. It's got a wrench through it. Cool. Electrical tape. Is that more useful than anything else I have? I have lots of resin, I think. Probably have lots of tape too, but I'll take that. Oh, I definitely want refined metal, actually. So you know what? This, this, this. Definitely want the refined metal. All right, that's more food and water that I just maxed myself out on. Okay. All right, enter passcode.
Am I just pressing oh, random buttons? That was easy. <laughs> you unable to lie. You could not just do something and not break something. Tell truth. Confirm. Tell him. All right. I I lied about I the getting the passcode. But judging by the sensors, an undocumented passage was hidden under it. Okay. My story is that I didn't have to figure out any password. My story, and I'm sticking to it. There's no information about these rooms. Something okay. happened here, although you probably already noticed it. All right, so you have a what is in your hand? Molten metal piece. Piece of molten metal looks exactly like a piece of me molten metal. Looks like a gun. Three to the head. Generator. Can I scan this? No. It's definitely one of the Breath Edge Agency coffins, but its ID is missing in my database. Looks like you're not the only one who's fond of destroying important equipment. Oh, are those guys that have been talking to me? Coffins. Okay. I just realized they're like robot coffin guys. I probably should have realized that earlier. What is this thing? Console. Okay. Console. I have to break all these things, I guess. All right. More refined metal, though. I will always take free refined metal. Okay, I can break all of this stuff. Okay. Guess we get to start scrapping. Okay, I can't break that one. Can I break this one? You got all the way here and my scrapper broke. What a pain. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Well, thankfully, right before this... It's probably as designed by the devs. I found um, the infinite scrapper. All right, I have to break all of them? Holy crap, okay. My finger's gonna fall off here, okay. So anyways, I start blasting. What was that button? Somebody told me a button that can stop you moving around. Control, shift. V, C, X, Z. There was a button to stop moving around. I can't remember. Oh, please tell me there's not freezing danger here. What the hell? Alt. Thank you. Thank you, silly hat man. Oh, is there freezing danger? Okay, this one? No, I can't break that one. These guys over here, here we go. Activity detected. It looks like you were able to start the protection protocol, although the ship's documentation says it's only possible during a natural disaster. You've got talent. That's, that's, that's me, Mr. Talented. That's what they call me in high school. Mr. Talented, because I'm so talented about stuff. All right, so is that, uh, I think that was the completing the objective here, okay. Wow. Deny the fact the green universe was involved in the crash of the liner, but some details in their behavior and death don't correspond to the modus operandi of the attack. Um, oh, can I go through this one? No. I... Am I hearing the lower? I'm hearing the lower door open when I walk up to that one. I was like, I want to go through this door though. Okay. And there's a guy who's dead from something in there. More fun death and dismember dismemberment. Dismemberment. So much fun. All right, we actually only have one more uh, lower radiation tasks to do. Um, I have unlocked more stuff if I want to build more stuff, which I might want to. Um, really, I need to find the thing that... I need to find the thing that lets me build the thing uh, that lets me do the whole protection. Can anyone give me a hint? where to find that Nietzsche or I think it was Ren Ren gave me a hint earlier about finding the vehicle building things can anybody give me a hint about where I can find the blueprint to make upgraded or um, you know protect your base from getting hole breached all the time 
Is there any blueprints that I can just see around that I haven't visited yet? There's a station of some sort down here. I missed my laser shot and blew up the ship. Oh my god, I can't believe you did that. I know, right? Uh, if only I was better at aiming. Let's see what's in here. Anything? Just to... Yeah, I've been in here. That's where I got the... Well, I already had the enhanced scrapper. I, that was a steering wheel scanner thing. You do not know where it is, but you know what I have to get. Okay. I don't know if that'll help me if you tell me what I need to get if you don't know where it is. <laughs> I'm sure it's some sort of armor piece to upgrade it, but... Um, now that I have my car, I guess I can explore more um, safely, though. So, there's my last thing I need to get. Maybe I just start flying around now and try to hit some uh, wrecks I haven't been able to hit before because I was worried about running out of auction all the time. Reinforcement compartment, small wreck floating near the ship with a big gun. Oh. About. Even, okay, well. A little more spoiler than I was wanting, but that's fine. So it's over here. Uh, small wreck floating near the ship with a big gun. So I was... I was just by the ship with the big gun. So that's that ship. Small wreck floating by that, huh? Level with the gun itself in the direction of the electrical area. Uh, electrical area is back that direction, I think. So... Is it this? I explored this. Uh, this is just a piece with the turret that I've already turned off. Uh, is this electronics I can get, though? Do you want these? I was running out of electronics for a while, so let me get them while I have the... Get them while the getting's good. Nice. Okay. That fills me up. I have a lot of tape. Let's get one more electronics over the tape. You did this chapter two years ago when it was first out. They changed a bunch of stuff. Wow. You played this in early access a lot, it sounds like. Cool. I just went in there. What about this one? Okay. Um, let's see. I have plenty of auction. Let's just look around here. It's easier when I'm not in my uh, car to see things. Either down here or there's this. Maybe it's this. This is a small ship near the gunship here. Usually these things don't have blueprints in them, though. A lot of wrecks around here. I didn't explore this place as well as I could have because I was worried about the guns. So let me fly around here. I think this is the gunship right here. And I did explore this decently well, I think. Examine. Yeah, that's just that. Just another goofy thing. Not going to open that because I have no inventory space. I have my electrical suit on right now, so I should be able to go through this with no problem. Okay. I immediately forgot about alt. I do. I do immediately forget about things, that's for sure. So this is the big gun. The electrical area is that way. If I explored this, though, look at a good auction, then we'll explore that. Alt. There we go. I remembered. I remembered. You copy that info from a forum. Well, I will say I didn't explore this area as well as I could have. So even if that's not right, it's worth exploring it. There's certainly stuff I missed over here, probably. Certainly, probably. I think I might have checked that, but I'm not sure. These laser 
these things that have been shot into are super cool looking. Anything here? Examine Click Edge. It's a Nintendo game. All right, I don't have inventory space, so we leave all the metal. As much as I'd love more metal. What a strange place, but maybe we can find something useful here. Here we go. This looks promising. I have two scans left on my scanner. It's not recommended. It is hey, a bed though. Although it's not clear why, it's hard to find nice. All right. I've been wanting a bed so I could heal at my at my place, so this was definitely worthwhile. Um, I could get fabric, but again, I just have no inventory space, so. Awesome. Successful. Excursion was successful. The form you read says something different. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm still going to search around here a little bit more. Just because it's fun to explore in this game. I've been here yet. Hmm. I like how they all are dead and never move. Like that's how space works. <laughs> I died and I'm forever frozen. I'm pretty sure things keep moving in space, but okay. We'll just, we'll accept that. We'll accept that. Did I go in here yet? I only have one scan left, so I need to find one thing to scan here. This guy already turned off, looks like. Uh, that was the place, I think, with the mayonnaise. Any wrecks further down below or up above that I'm missing? That, I believe, is where the robots were protecting. Maybe over there might be a wreck or two I haven't seen. Let me check. It's level with the gone, though, from the copy-paste you're reading. Well, I'm not, unless it's, like, further out. Like, if I go by what you were saying, the gun is, like, right here. The electrical area is that direction. Over, like, there. This is the only wreck I'm seeing, like, directly on that level. And that's... Just, I think I checked that, right? Got the one with the gun on, on it. Yeah, this has got like nothing, I think. I checked that already. I mean, it's kind of hard to keep track of everything you, you've you checked, honestly. Uh, this is kind of on the level. That looks like a, I feel like I scanned this. That looks like a living space that I already got, I think. Is this open? No, it does not. This was... I feel like this is something I got. This was... I think just this module, whatever this is, like a medium living space or something like that. Where's my car? <sighs> so... I don't know, Silly Hatman, you say, what does yours say? Since we're just kind of spoiling this so I can find it, so I can do some building stuff, what does yours say for where the reinforcement thing or whatever it's called is? I'm gonna go near some wrecks, so sometimes it'll highlight things when you get near. Something useful is. Huh. This is is this the is this the Mayo area? This is the Mayo area, isn't it? This is different. That was the Mayo area. This is a separate thing. I don't think I ever checked out this. Is there anything inside of here? 
Someone tried to take a bath in a drinking boiler without reading about the emergency water pumping system starting when waste gets into it. In front of the big ship that you first had to create the airlock for back in the cave. It would be useful to have a powerful soil analyzer with the function of deep scanning, which is usually used by biologists and nothing of interest. Okay, so nothing in here, I guess. All right. In front of the big ship. Okay, where's my car? So you first had to create the airlock for back in the cave. I, when you say cave, do you mean the like the heat heat cave or something else? In front of the big ship, I had to create the airlock for back in the cave. So I'll be back down around over there. The cave where I got the scooter from. Oh. Okay, all right. Sure, let's go check back over there. I know what you're talking about. Let me go uh, drop off some stuff so I can pick up more, you know, resources if needed. And I will fuel up the car while we're there. Okay, yeah, back over there. It's like this big cave over here. Okay. Interesting that I missed that there. I don't see any icon for it, but it's, I might just not have gotten close close enough to it for the icon to appear or whatever. Oof, freaking lag. Yeah, drop off stuff so I can get more stuff because I need more stuff for my stuff. If I don't have enough stuff, I just will be out of stuff. Okay, look at all that refined metal. Woo, that's some juicy stuff right there. Um, electronics. I will throw tape in here. This. We have room for more titanium in. Whoops, what did I just throw in there? A grabber tool. Uh, this. Titanium. And I have lots more food. Which goes in here, which I can't fit. Yeah, trying to stay organized, just don't have enough stuff. Okay, uh, I'm going to take fabric out of here, I guess. I can throw more food and water in here. Fabric can go in this new guy. Half my inventory is freaking taken up from with fuel uh, with um, tools and stuff. I guess I don't need the uh, oxygen stuff nearly as much because I have my car going around too. So let me make an extra scanner though, because if I'm gonna go be scanning something, that's gonna use it up. So one extra scanner would be. Metal, battery, plastic, light bulb. Metal. Plastic. Light bulb. Battery. There we go. Uh, you are thinking the reforce was fairly fine for you, if you could remember. So you were wondering why I was looking so far out. Hope it helps. Yeah, well, if it's where you're saying, I know exactly what you're talking about. And that is helpful. I was going to make fuel. Let's make fuel so I don't forget. I have a duplicate tool in my inventory. I have two grabbers. I'm going to keep those because I feel like those wear out really fast. If I find alkali, I'm going to be using those up. And where I'm going, there might be alkali, alkali, whatever it's called in there. Um, fuel is an item. Two metal, two resin. So four metal, four resin. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I never actually finished fixing things in the cave where I built the brick air airlock, by the way. Fixing things in the cave. Fix ventilation message. Okay, you're going to have to remind me where that is. My repair tool is about to break, so I guess I need to make another repair tool too if I'm going to be re fixing stuff. To refine metal. Uh, tape and uh, well, I think it was aluminum it said. Right at the end of the cave. Oh, the same cave you're talking about? Okay, well, it sounds like there's more stuff I need to do in that cave anyway, so let's go do that. Let me save. Um... We'll probably have to take a break in the middle of this since we're coming up on the second break time. But we can get over there and start searching. If I can find the reinforced thing, that would be the best. 
because then I can uh, come back and do some building maybe. The last portion of the stream would be fun. And not have my breach chance go crazy. Alright, so the entrance is down underneath that place over there. Yeah, you might be right. I vaguely remember trying to explore an area and my repair tool breaking in the middle of it or something like that. Now let's go, uh, let's go finish exploring that cave that we didn't finish exploring. Good thing I have chat here. If I never play these games by myself, I would be completely clue clueless or I'd be using a wiki all the time to figure stuff out most likely. But yeah, Nietzsche, I do sometimes keep some tools uh, duplicate in my inventory on purpose because they run out so fast that if I don't have a second one, I'll be in the middle of collecting and just be like, broken. Too bad. All right, so I think it's down in here. Like, if what happened in here previously is correct, uh, I was supposed to repair and ran out of repair tool. There were definitely areas in here I didn't explore because I was always worried about oxygen. So we'll have to look around these giant rolls of duct tape or whatever these are. It's crazy. All right. Yeah. So this big wreck in here, I'm sure I did not explore fully. There's... Oh, there's even a way out underneath. I didn't even realize that that was that was there. So I was so worried about running out of oxygen. All right, so let's check these different things. There might be just something somewhere in here that I missed. But there most likely is from what you all are telling me. Okay. Doesn't look like anything in here. What's this? Photo of the liner. I guess that's the full ship. Big giant ship that all these are pieces of, I guess. Electrical tape, surely? Yeah, not duct tape. Sorry, electrical tape. That makes more sense. Yeah, so I could I could get more resin, but resin I think I'm doing well on. It's al alkali that if I see anywhere I want to get some. So I didn't like go over here. Ginormous antenna. Freaking huge, man. Can I go behind this? Anything back here? Does not look like there's anything back here. Ah, there's something over here, though. Maybe. Um, uh, it looks closed off. It doesn't look like something I can get inside of. Giggity. Something behind it, though? Hmm. No. Okay, so let's get in our car and go explore that more. Because I think either we never got inside that thing or I didn't fully explore it or something. There's probably other pieces over there that I never explored because I was out of auction and always worried about... You know, venting myself. Don't know why I'd be worried about venting myself. Please tell me with that heat lamp I'm seeing that I don't need to have the protection from cold. That would be annoying. Alright, let's go into here. I'm pretty sure I went in here and explored this. I think I unlocked a lot of things in here. I'm pretty sure I explored this. Let's go find out. Okay. Girl on a rocket. Dispenser blueprint. That's the, okay. Yeah, this is where I learned how to build stuff. That's right. Yeah, this is, this is where I unlocked the base building thing, which was super cool. So not here. What else is here? Is there more stuff up above or down below this, maybe? 
Yeah, this place is huge. Uh, there's more electronics there. Alt. There was something underneath this, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So there's that part, and then the part underneath. I had to build this to get in here, I think. I had to rebuild this, if I'm not mistaken. Let me review this area, see if I missed something in here. Maybe I wasn't noticing blueprints on the wall as much in here. Yeah, you can see I've been here. As it auto saves. You can see a uh, wire I've left on the ground. Here's a blueprint on the wall. What's this? Service module. That's already scanned. This was a dead end, I think. Yeah. More auction candles I don't really need. I'll take this because I'm hungry now. Just eat it. So I did leave some materials here. Probably because my inventory was full. Because most of the game, my inventory is full. That's the thing that we have now. We probably had to scan that to be able to make our own. The green universe was here. Okay. I don't think it's in here. So let's go check if there's something else behind this big giant station that I've missed. So I am not seeing that in here. Check that. That's where I came in. Is there anything in here? Nope. Do I want this wire? Sure, I can always drop it again if I need to. Anything in here I missed? I don't believe so. Okay. It's a vertical white tube section that you can scan. Is what Nietzsche said earlier, so I need to look for that, I guess. Uh, where's my car? Dude, where is my car? I should probably stop making that joke. So yeah, I didn't like ever check out all this area. If there's anything back or below or behind. That looks like nothing back here. Well, let's go back here. Maybe there's something back here. This is a very large section here. Oh, that looks like that might be something over here. Okay, we got something here. I don't think I've ever explored this. Why can't I move? Oh, I'm just slow. All right, anything in here? Honey barrel. Water, food, honey, oxygen. Suitcase on wheels. <laughs> okay. More water. Battery, always good. Well, there's materials out here. This does not look like... Looks like a place I've been, maybe? Came from the other side? Have you all seen some vertical white thing that I've missed? Because I feel like I have... Not seen it here. I am accepting spoilers. I'm in the right general area. Okay. Maybe it's up above here? Okay. Let's go up maybe this direction, maybe? Um, 
That's the big ball thing over there. This is a wreck I haven't seen. Let me go check if this is something I've not checked out, maybe. It's hiding in this little asteroid over here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I see something. A white vertical thing. I'm not sure about its initial purpose, but we can secure the plating with it. The plating. The plating? Protective cover. GG cookie time. That looks like it. That looks like it. Alright. With that, we should be able to do more base building, I'm thinking. Is there anything else in here? Chat, we did it. Thanks, chat. You're so smart, chat. Quote myself from that one quote where I talk about how smart chat is. Chat is a real winner. There you go. You got it on lockdown. Hashtag blame chat too, though. <laughs> that too, though. Alrighty, so... I'm gonna go back to the base... Taking my final break of the day. Um, and then we're going to do some base building before we're going. I think this finishes this chapter. Because apparently there's different chapters or something. Where is my base? Over this way. Actually, I feel like I haven't fully explored this area either. But this is the next area we need to go to. So we'll explore that. When we go maybe finish this part of the... Um, uh, game today. Oh, you also got the quote where, man, Twitch chat are dumb. I don't know if I ever said that. I feel like that was me being misquoted by, um, uh, whoever always used to do the quotes whose name escapes my brain again. Who hasn't, who shows up like every other month or so. Who you can thank for all these quotes. Clay Mandel's name, Clay Mandel. No, not Boo. Boo had them all memorized, but the one who always added the quotes was a, uh, uh, a viewer named Clay Mandel. Trolley, like, you know, like me and like most of my chat. But who would like to misquote me to make me sound, you know, mean or racist or something. <laughs> no. Alrighty, so... Before we do anything else, let me um, check our base building thing. Make sure we have something that we can do. We have some extra modules we can make. Protective cover. Breach chance minus 15%. I'm going to need lead for this. Okay. We got a bed. We got a kitchen. We got stuff we can build. So I'm going to save the game. And before we get to building, I'm going to take my final break of the day. Sam Church, you direction. Thank you all so much for watching. Is anybody new to the stream? Hope you're having a good time. Hope you get the follow. Quick 60 second stretch break, we come back, we will build some stuff. Y'all rock, see you in just a bit, my friends. <laughs> 